Yeah. Hello guys, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Miyoksfu. And last time we got this. Ah, Rod of Seasons. Now, as you can see, we can swing it as a weapon, but the only thing it does is knock back people. It is kind of handy if you just want to stun them or anything, but other than that, it's not really useful. No, 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 come back here, Moblin. Alright, so... Oh, I'm just going to show you the way we could have gone. Now, we could go this way, but as you see, there's a lot of snow that's going to be blocking our way, so there's no real reason to go that way right yet. Um, there is something down here we could do, but we'll leave that for later, um, because we've got a dungeon ahead of us. Aw, oh, come on, I want to get rid of you. I hate you, P-Hats, because I've never been good at killing you. Oh, well, we lost a heart, so let's go fill up with this fairy fountain. At least you look like an actual fairy, unlike those polygons from Majora's Mask and Link. Uh, not Link to the Past. Um, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, that's what it is, right? <laughs> and we need our first like, like, but he's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, no, 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 no. Shoot, I gotta. I keep forgetting. You gotta be moving forward to throw these bombs. Uh, there's nothing really much in this cave. I keep forgetting that. There's just, I believe, like, 30 rupees. We got 30 rupees! That's nice. I mean, that comes in handy, but... you think with all the space that they put in there, it might be a little more. Um... Okay, we can't do anything here down here yet. But, 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 we will be able to. That is actually where we're headed. That is the second temple. I'm gonna ignore that for now, because it's not important. Actually, you know what? Before I go on the stump and change things to winter, I'm gonna go over to this house. Santa, welcome! Hmm. Seems like an odd thing to put on a... put on your house, but you know what? We've got the or the Rod of Seasons. Let's just change it to winter and see if they open it up. Hmm. The door's open now, but we got some of these in the way, so... What'll we do? Sounds like, um, that Saturday Morning Watchmen cartoon thing. But off. Okay, doesn't... Ah! You startled me! Winter sets in all of a sudden, then down my chimney comes. You're not Santa! You don't scare me. Now take this shovel and clear the snow from my walkway. Keep the shovel when you're done. Okay, so we got the shovel, which means we can clear that snow out of the way. That always reminds me of, um, a scene from Spaced. <laughs> Where, um, Tim goes down and knocks on Brian's door, and he's, Brian's like, who is it? Tim answers, uh, it's Father Christmas. And Brian, always, and Brian comes out, um, completely naked. Um, with an expectant face. Uh, an expectant look on his fa face, like, full of joy, expecting it to actually be Father Christmas, and it's just him there. He's like, oh, it's you. Well, yeah, who'd you expect it to be? No one, come in. <laughs> anyway, this is the first of the guys that will actually charge us to fix his door. I thank you for paying to fix my door. And, like I said, I'll go through all of them just because... Just because. <laughs> no reason other than that. And our first heartbeat... Uh, well, no, our second heartbeat is down here, but we can't get it yet because we need an item. Well, we need one or two items. We can either use the, uh, a certain item to lift up that rock, or we can use another certain item to go through that turbulent water. Tubular. Um... We'll get there eventually. In fact, we'll get there pretty darn soon. What? Okay, I'm like, what, what, don't tell me we've got the encounter now. Because <laughs> if you haven't guessed, I'm kind of looking for someone that might go by the name of Maple. Maybe. And like I said, you gotta kill 30 enemies for her to appear. 
and I don't quite know when that's gonna be. So I gotta be on my toes. Now we get our second seed, the mystery seeds. You got mystery seeds. What they do is a mystery. Try them on many things. Open your seed satchel to use them. Yep, basically these are the seeds from um, Link's Awakening. You use them on anything and they'll do different things. Do not forget me to, to forget to give me mystery seeds. Do not forget to give me mystery seeds. Um, that is actually more important than you think it would be because... Well, you'll see, because we get another seed later on that makes making make, makes it imperative that you got all of those owl statues earlier. I can't tell you right now, because we haven't gotten it, of course, but we'll get there eventually. And of course there's nothing in here. Well, there's a fairy, that was nice, but of course there's nothing in here. I want Maple to show up. Oh, no big deal. Anyway, let's go into the... Second dungeon! Level 2, Snake's Remains. Not Snape's. Anyway. Before we go on and try and fix that puzzle up there, we're gonna take care of this, so we don't have to come back here later. Got five rupees. Yeah, it's not really important to go up. I th no, it, it is important. There is something up here that we do that. I forgot. Which is going to cause us to come back later if we don't get it. So. Just gotta kill all the snakes. So yeah, I want to apologize. I know this is the third video that I've recorded, but I want to apologize for not having recorded. I'll put up videos for a few days just because... Well, I did this, this uh, another time, but all my recordings earlier were pretty crap, so... I just thought that I could do better. They weren't up to my standards, so... Mm, I think we gotta go up first. Yes. Oh, I don't want to kill all you because... Um, we actually have our first secret door here! Well, our first real secret door, you know. The ones with the, um, the arrows pointing and whatnot. And I believe there's like 200 rupees in here, so that's not bad. Well, yep, it looks like there's about 200 rupees in here. Eh, a little less. Oh well. Ow. I've also been just completely engrossed in the Harry Potter books because, well, same reason Gavalt's been completely engrossed in the in the Harry Potter books. The new movie's coming out, and I told myself, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna read them all before the new movie comes out. Oh. Now, this can be kind of tricky if you don't think about it, but once you get out the boomerang, it just becomes a piece of cake. Piece of pie, slice of cake. And just because now you don't have to worry about them running away from your exploding bombs while you throw them. And yeah, get them. Okay. And we got the item of the dungeon, the power bracelet! Basically, this allows us to pick up objects, and I can't remember whether it allows us to pick up bombs. I'm gonna find that out right now. It does. Okay. That is the other useful thing. Now you can r pick up bombs again once you put them down. And... I hate these guys. These guys are by far one of my least favorite enemies because they don't take damage, they move really slowly, and the only way you can get rid of them is by knocking them into those pits. And it just... they're annoying. <laughs> Oh. Oh, that's right, we can kill all you guys. Oh, okay, they don't respawn? That's, that's, that's pretty nice, actually. Err, come on, ow. Owie! I don't want to die. Well, I'm not even close to dying, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't even be, I don't even lose hearts. Because I hate losing hearts. And another new mechanic. They, basically, these are the same as those small bladed guys, except they will just keep going from 
wall to wall. Till they can't go no further. No, they'll just keep going from wall to wall trying to, and they won't go after you or anything. So, just stay quick and hide around edges. It's really not that hard to take care of them, but... I love this guy. I mean, I don't know why. It's just... I love this underground passage right here. There's... It's just these mini thwomp guys that really make me love it. There's nothing else about it. Uh, are we going the right way? Yeah, we're... I think we're in the right. Did we miss anything? Oh shoot, I can't remember if we were supposed to go this way yet. I don't think we were supposed to. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal. We're doing good. Owie. Oh, yeah, basically, you gotta push these with the power bracelet, I forgot to mention that. And if you don't push them fast enough, they will push you back. And that's especially inconvenient when they push you onto those cracked floors, because like every other Zelda game, you will fall through them if you stand on them for more than a second. And we got a mid boss. Alright, so I'm gonna just take care of this guy quickly. What I like to do for this guy is use my bombs because it takes five bombs to take this guy out. If you're using your sword, you're gonna have to hit him like 20 times or so. But, oh, sh oh, come on. And basically, he'll open these pits up out under you once he takes enough damage. And just be, be a royal pain in the ass, basically. But, again, five bombs to take him out. That's pretty nice deal. Oh, and we're gonna get him, like... No, we're not, because I'm an idiot and I threw the bomb. Oh, he's not even opening the pits underneath us. Well, that is the easiest I've ever had with that guy. By far. Because usually he just likes to open pits and you don't have enough time to attack him that way. You can only attack him while he's spitting the fireball, spitting the flame and loogies. So it can get quite annoying. Alright guys, I think that's enough for today. Um, gonna save it right here. And I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Fu. And we will move further through this dungeon with our new item, the Power Bracelet. And the boomerang? No, the power bracelet and the shovel actually would be our two newest items. And we're just going to go through the entire dungeon like this. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me, Oxfoo.